have some new, my other order that I placed came in with the dark contour shade. And then, um, what else is in there? Masks, the new masks that dropped. Yes, got some new things to show today. But if you're hopping on, say hello. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Feels like Thursday, but it's Wednesday. All messed up today. Put some moisturizer on. Some nice, lovely moisturizer. Um, let me put this here. Hi, Danny. What's poppin'? Danny. Hello, happy Wednesday. Hello. Uh, I don't even know how to say your name. Pilla, Pillarine? Is that how you say your name? I don't even know. Hello, what's poppin'? Hi, Donna. How's it going? What's poppin'? I just ate lunch, so I'm going to take my greens now. My greens give me some energy. Plus, I didn't eat. I had steak with leftover potatoes, and I had like too many cucumbers. So I didn't really have very many vegetables today. Hi, Annabella. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Donna. What's poppin'? Where's this friggin' tab for this? I don't know where the tab for this is. And my probiotic. Sprinkled. Hi, hello from Buffalo. Hi, Dee. Mm, 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 mm. It's like my after lunch treat, but it's good for me. Um, thank you so much for sharing the video, Dee. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I really appreciate when you guys share my makeup tutorials. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is that? Got a straight up antenna. Um, would you do a tutorial with a nice neutral line? I could. My order of Total and Earth Green showed up Friday. Can't wait to try them both. Ooh, you haven't, you, oh wait, they're showing up Friday or they did show up already? Oh, shows up Friday. Mm, I can't wait for you to try them. They're really good. I have a question about the pre post probiotic from Goldie. What are the health benefits of taking those? Same with any pre slash probiotic. It's really good for your gut microbiome. It's really good for um, your immune system because that's kind of where your whole immune system is to begin with. And another incredibly interesting, uh, sis not statistic, but insight that I, I literally just learned this last week. Um, they took... They did research on like family members and one of them was like really overweight. One of them was not. Okay, interesting. Uh, so they looked at their gut microbiome and the one that was overweight had bad gut microbiome and that's why she had such a hard time with her weight. How interesting is that? Now, all those pictures I showed you of the girls, like the before and afters of them using the trim fit, they're not only taking the trim fit, they're taking the probiotic, the trim fit, and either they're taking the greens or they're taking the collagen. The collagen's also good for your gut, and so is the, the greens, because the greens feed your, this is like a natural prebiotic, basically. Um, so this is gonna feed, also feed your probiotics. But how interesting is that? So if your gut microbiome is not optimal where it needs to be, you might really struggle to lose weight. Even if you're taking all these other things that other people are taking, your gut microbiome must is probably um, not balanced correctly and that's why you're not able to burn fat. Which I actually talked about this before because I learned about this a while ago, but I actually saw another study about it. And I was like, I can't, like, that's crazy to me how much that relates to losing weight. So probiotic is really also good for losing weight, not just your, your, um, your immune system or whatever you want to say. Um, let's go to this right here. Okay. I just banned that user. That was weird. Um, okay. So we got some new stuff i got my custom palette in yeah i just blocked that weirdo 
What a troll. But if you want to check out the greens and the trim kit and the probiotic, you can comment hashtag letters YU. Hashtag YU. Just like it says on the probiotic, the YU right here. Hashtag YU. And it'll send you a link to those. But I'm going to show you the custom palette that I built. It has some new colors in here that I don't have. So you can get these on my website. My makeup website's linked down here. So you can build your own custom palette. So this is an empty palette. You can do four colors. You can do one color. You can do eight colors. Or you can do like a big like square pod that has up to 25 colors in it. And you can throw a bunch of colors in it. It's completely customizable. So these are, and it's funny, we talk about neutral colors. I got a lot of neutral colors to put in this. So these are colors I don't have. So I ordered, actually I think I have one of these colors, but these other colors I do not have. So um, you can customize this palette. You can swap it around, uh, but it's really nice that you can put whatever colors you want in here. And like I said too, you can swap them around. So if you're gonna go on vacation and you want a certain, certain colors, you can just pop them out and put different colors in here, which is really cool. So they just come in. I'm gonna tell you the colors I got as well. We'll do a look with this custom palette that I just ordered. I bought the pre-probiotic, but they don't have it on the Goalie website. They are sold out. Have you tried the U probiotic? Have you tried the U probiotic? I ordered the greens using your code. Can't wait to for them to arrive Friday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, that's so exciting. Everybody's everybody's stuff is coming on Friday. Um, so this is what the eyeshadow looks like, and then you get a little sticker to put by it. And I'm gonna show you how I do my custom palettes. I like to. Some people like to put the sticker on top on the outside of the palette. I don't like to do that because I just think it looks tacky. Um, but it does make it easier to find if you have the colors on the outside of the palette versus on the inside. I just like to have them on the inside. Uh, you bought it from Amazon? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right. So here is the little colors. So you can organize this however you want, but I'm just going to throw, usually what I like to do is darkest to lightest colors, but I'm just going to do try all the shimmers and then whatever after. So this is the little eyeshadow. You just pop it out and it's a big like eyeshadow. This is a big, it's like as big as a quarter. Basically, this is a new color. It's called Inconceivable. I think it's a new color, um, but it's a really pretty green color. So pop that in there and it's magnetic. So once it sticks in there, it'll, it'll hold in there. So the next one I'm gonna do is, I gotta make sure I don't mix up these stickers because two of these are different, similar but different. This color is called, this color is really pretty, Co Covacious. It's like a dark bronzy color, kind of. Covacious, I'm doing that one next. Beautiful. And then, I don't know if I should do Visionary. I'm gonna do Visionary next to it. Visionary is this really pretty copper color. It's a little bit lighter. When you see them together, you'll see one's more red and one's more yellow. And then the last one is called Jealous which is like the matte version of that other one. So here's the palette. So they just pop all in there. If you wanna pop them out, there's little holes in the back and you can just stick like a tweezers or something in the back and they'll pop right out. But look at how fun that is. So you can create your own custom palette. And then for me personally, I like to put the stickers on the inside right here. Um, Beautiful, thank you. So I just, the little stickers, you just peel these off. And then I like to put them right above the eyeshadow, like this. So when you open the palette, you know what color it is. But you can put it on the top if you want. That way, if you make a bunch of these, you're not digging around in your drawer trying to find certain ones. So let's put the stickers in here. And then we're golden. So yeah, we'll use this palette today and we'll use the new contour stick color. But here you go. Here's my custom palette I just made. What's popping? Aren't these pretty? So these are neutral colors. They're very nice. Okay, and look at that. And it's really nice and thin too. So it's not like a super big bulky palette. 
Um, but like I said, you can do eight colors, you can do 25 colors. Um, here is the 25 color palette right here. And you can swap these all these colors around, but um, I dropped mine, so there's a big crack in it. But it has a big mirror, and then these just pop out, and you can rearrange this however you want. You can tell I use this a lot. It's very messy. Um, and then if you don't want that big, but you want a little bit more than four colors, you can do this eight color palette right here. So I have two of these, I think. This is my fun colored one, and then I have a summer colored one. This is the fun colors. The really colorful fun colored one. And then this is my summer one because it has corals in it and browns and stuff. But these are really fun to customize. Um, I just bought a new shadow, but I forgot to buy the little case to go with it. Oh, that's a bummer. Annoying. That is annoying. Um, I do have a golly link and code. Um, I think I can actually post it right here. Will it pop up? I did have it saved on my text things, but um, if you go to... In the description, there is a link that says other links. You'll find my golly code there. Otherwise, if you go to my website, Beauty by Hannah Lee, my golly link and code is there. Um, no, these are not from Berry Cosmetics. I don't even know what Berry Cosmetics is. Uh, they're from this website right here that's linked down here. Right down there. Um, okay. So this is the contour stick, the other one. This is the darker one. This one's called chocolate. The chocolate color, let's compare this to the other one. Because the other one is barely bronzed, I believe it's called. Barely bronzed. So the barely bronzed color looks like this. It's a contour shade. Okay. Um, this is the chocolate color. Ooh, that's nice. I thought it was going to be like super dark, but it doesn't look like too dark. So that's the difference between the two contour shades we offer. There's only two of them. So these are the two different colors right here. Um, Do I like ColourPop? I don't. I haven't used very many of their products, so I can't really give you my opinion on their products. I think I have an eyeliner from them. I have like a green... I have a green eyeliner from them right here, ColourPop, this like emerald color thing. I like this. This is nice. Um. Okay, then we got, what else did I order? What is this? Dip and draw. I got the, what, why is this white? Prosper. Prosper. Okay. This, okay, I was just confused. This was white at the bottom. I thought that was the color and it's not. I'm like, what is Prosper? So we have a brown dip and draw liquid liner. We're gonna use this one today too. Um, usually I use black, but brown's a little bit softer. So we're gonna try the brown one out. And I think I ordered one more thing, but I don't think it's in here. So um, I'll have to check. Maybe I forgot to add it to my order. Uh, but then I did the overnight hydrating mask, which I'm really excited about because we used to have a hydrating mask and I really, really liked it. So this is like a deep conditioning, moisturizing face mask that you wear overnight. This is what it looks like. But we used to have one and it was so good. So I think this is like the upgraded version of it. I feel like all the product is at the top of this. Okay, it's not open yet. I was like, it's going to all fall out. Why is it stuck in here though? Oh, it's cause it's so cold. It's like frozen. Um, I made a mess now, but this is the overnight hydrating mask. Oh, no smell. Oh, I like that. It doesn't have any smell to it. Love that. We don't want perfume sitting on our face at night. Um, how do I, I made a mess. I'm trying to like scrape some of this off so I don't waste it all. Oh, I'm so excited. That is supposed to be in there like that. So these are refillable. That's why that, li that little pod can pop out because you can buy refills for this. But look at that. Gosh, I wish we could use it right now, but I'll have to use it tonight and let y'all know. But I'm super excited about this. This is a new hydrating. wonder if I could put this on my lips for now. We can always wipe it off when we're ready to do my lips. 
I need more. I need more. Mm. Uh, the bird enclosures are custom made. You can have someone custom build some for you if you want. That's how, uh, that's why I have those. Custom made. Happy Wednesday. Okay, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to do BB cream today. And, wow, you can tell my lips are so dry. It's just soaking that right up. But my lips look really good already. I'm going to add more. I feel like my lips, like, look plumper already. I feel like it just soaked it up in two seconds. Which is good because my lips are really dry right now. So hopefully this will undry them. Are we watching this work in action as we speak? Okay, I put a little bit of thicker layer on here, but I feel like that's working really fast already. <laughs> My lips are like soaking it up so fast. I like that it's um not scented. I really like that. I'm not, I'm not a fan of scented things. Light scented is fine, but over scented is like a no. All right, do I just want to do BB cream? Oh, we want to do the answer though. Luminizer, where are you? Here we go. Luminizer, you always use the BB cream now. Are you addicted like me? Are you addicted to the BB cream? This is the new illuminating primer that I really like. Um, and I'm wearing the beauty lashes, but we're gonna slide these off real quick. Um, were they custom made by a company online? No, they were custom made by my brother. My brother custom made them, but I think you can look up glass bird cages. I'm sure somebody makes and sells them online. Y'all, my lips soaked that up already, but look at how much better they look. They look plumper, don't they? You know why they look plumper is because when your lips are dehydrated, they shrivel up. Just like your skin, if, you're, if your wrinkles look more prominent for some reason, it means you're dehydrated. Like that's one of the number one reasons some people, their wrinkles look so bad is because they're super dehydrated and your skin shrivels up and then all your wrinkles like bunch up. Man, if that works that quickly on my lips, I wanna, gosh, I don't, I don't even wanna, can we put this under makeup? I wanna put this on now. Like, can I wear it under makeup? It says overnight, so I don't know. I would assume so. If you can wear it overnight, you should be able to wear it under makeup. Um, uh, uh, Hannah, with these companies, do they not care if influencers are using horrible language on their lives? I have seen an influencer use the most disgusting language on her lives. Um, so when you're with any of these companies, you're like an independent, independent influencer. So you can do what you want. So they're not, they're not in, obviously they could come up to you and say something, but they have so many people that sell products. They're not like watching everybody, obviously. Um, and that's not really a represent, representation of the makeup company. That's a representation of that person. So, you know, um, I guess that's all I have to say on that. Um, it gets greasy for under makeup. I tried it. Oh, dang it. Really? Oh, it's so nice. I love it already. I think I'm going to order another one right away. I just can't believe how fast it worked on my lips. Like my lips look 10 times better already. Like I'm going to add more. My lips look so much plumper. Like what a game changer. I might start using, I might put this in, I'm not joking. I might put this in like a little, I have a little glass container. I might put some in a little glass container and use it as a lip gloss or like a lip mask. Imagine if you put this on and then you put the lip mask on top of it. <sighs> so excited. Literally so excited right now for this. My skin gets so dry in winter time. So anything that like works this fast I'm like heck yes okay I put a little bit on but I have like some fine lines and wrinkles up here so I wonder if that's gonna like help them like disappear a little bit look at how nice of a shine it gave my face though don't mind my face my face is breaking out right now I had pizza literally two days ago and my face is still breaking out 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's when I eat processed food that always happens. Um, this is the new, this is so good. It's called the new overnight hydrating mask. It's so good. It's literally working right now in front of our faces. Like if you watch the replay, you'll have to see how dry my lips were in the beginning. But look at how much better they look. They just look like super plump now. I feel like I just got lip fillers. <laughs> that is amazing. I love that. My lips always look so dry and shriveled up. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna use this more on my lips than my face. I'm so excited to use that tonight now. Um, okay, so here's our BB cream with the luminizer. But yeah, if you wanna check it out, the link is down here if you wanna check this, check out this new overnight hydrating mask. Like I said, we used to have one and then they change packaging and stuff. This one seems like a slightly different formula, but it works like 10 times faster. So I wanna know what's in it, that it's working that fast. That's amazing. Amazing, we might be adding something new to my top, my top favorite skincare items. I think that's a runner up so far because that sh works so good. Um, Poor thing, I can't watch those foods anymore. You can't watch the foods anymore. You might have to get some. I, if you have dry skin, I will get it. I mean, if it's working this fast, that's gonna be a game changer, especially too if you feel like your wrinkles are a little more prominent looking right now. That's gonna help so much with fine lines and wrinkles. I've been for it's been forever since I've seen you live. What's poppin', girl? I've been here this whole time. I go live every single every other day, but every single week I go live. So did it replace the it replaced the other one? Yes. So this is like the upgraded version, basically. Cause the other one was also a hydrating overnight face mask. And it it sold out. Like people loved it that much. So this is the upgraded version of it, basically. So that's why I had to get it because I really liked the old one that we had. Oh, covered up all that redness. Love that. Love that for me. Like light makeup, but the BB cream still works really good. Considering it's light makeup, it still works really good for covering redness. You know, still looks natural too. Video keeps freezing. That's rude. Sometimes Hannah confuses us and goes live on Thursdays and Saturdays. Yeah, sometimes I do that too. I might start going, I might start going live more on the weekend. Like I might start going live on Saturdays. I might. I might. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer under the eyes. Y'all, yeah, my lips soaked it up. That's how dry my lips are. That's crazy. I love that. I love that stuff. I'm ordering more. I should get some for my mom because I think I gave some to my mom last time and she loved it. And then we uh, discontinued or they like upgraded it or whatever. It sold out and then they we had to wait until this new one came out. My mother would love that for her, her wisdom lines. So rude. That's Facebook. Oh yeah, Facebook doesn't like tell anybody when I go live. It's super rude. All right, so this is the concealer. Now we're gonna try this new chocolate contour stick. I was a little worried it was gonna be too dark, but it really doesn't look that dark, so I think we'll be okay, as long as we don't go like too crazy with it. So we're gonna do a little dab dab. Actually, let's compare it to Chenille. So Chenille's my, the color I used to use for contouring all the time. So, okay, it's definitely darker than Chenille, but it's, Chenille's like in the middle because this other color is lighter than, well, actually this color is almost identical, but this one's more yellow. I like that these are more neutral um, because if you have a cool undertone or a warm undertone, these are gonna be more um, versatile because they're neutral colors. So that means you can wear them if you have yellow tone or cool tone versus the chenille that I was using before is a little more warm toned. So, all right. We'll see if we like this color better than the other one. 
I am a little bit tanner right now though, so there's a chance I might like this one better right now just because I am tanner. Remember to push this down. I never do and I, it always gets stuck at the top. I've been using plant ba plant skincare that has been blowing up on Facebook by a lot of influencers, but it's very expensive. Oh, I saw that. I saw that herbal face food. I looked into it, but I can't justify spending that much money on their products. I looked at it. I looked into it a little bit. And I already really like the skincare that I use now. So it's like, well, why change my skincare if it works? And I already really like it and pay twice as much. Like, I think it isn't like a bottle of their serum, like $200. It's insane. I mean, I guess if I really wanted, if I didn't have a skincare, I didn't already like, then I would probably try it and be bougie. But I already really like this skincare and it works really well for me. So I really don't need to change my skincare, but I guess if I was on a mad hunt, maybe I'd try it. But I looked into it and I don't remember what, what else I wasn't really intrigued with about it, but it is blowing up on the interweb right now with a lot of influencers. Probably just cause it's something different. Face food, it just has like a different name to it so it's more interesting all right that contour stick wasn't bad at all it's not like super dark or anything so i'm gonna actually add a little bit more just right here these blend out so nice and they don't go on super pigmented like the the other stuff we used to use um yes the serum is over 200 and the face cream is over 400 yeah see that is insane that's like celebrity skincare. <laughs> That's like if you got some celebrity money to be buying skincare like that. And it, it doesn't last long. I think that's for 30 days. Like that's literally only for 30 days. Because I think that's what turned me off about it. Because I was like, okay, 200 bucks. Like I could pay that if it's going to last me a while. You know, like the the this stuff is supposed to last you minimum three months. Minimum three months. When I looked, it was 30 days. Like everything that they sell is only 30 days. So you're spending $200 a month plus 400 plus whatever because they're only 30 day supplies. Imagine how expensive that would get. That would get so expensive. So yeah, I don't know. I just couldn't justify the price on that. I could justify it if it lasted longer, but not 30 days. like all this stuff lasts a long time so I mean some people say the skincare is expensive but it's not really that expensive at all when you think about how long it lasts if you divide that by how many months it's really not it's like super affordable and then if you do the skincare like if you do the new glow complexion line which I'm obsessed with that's our new skincare line um, it's the cleanser moisturizer and the facial serum you can do that on subscription and you'll get a discount and it's even cheaper. And then they send you refills so you don't have to pay to like buy the full package every time you buy the little refills. So nice. And like I said, it lasts forever. So, and you can pick to get it every three months, every four months, whatever you want. You don't have to get it every month. So it's just awesome. And it, it makes your skin look so plump and nice and just, I don't know. My skin just looks so much more glowy, but that's why it's called glow complexion. It's supposed to do that. It's supposed to really hydrate your skin and it's really anti-aging too. So yeah, I don't know. I really like the glow, glow complexion. If you haven't tried the glow complexion skincare line that we have, it's really good. Really, really, really good. This is part of glow complexion. This is what I put on my face before I put do my makeup every time. This is the really thick whipped moisturizer. I'm almost out, but I've had this forever. Like, I think I've had this for, when did this launch? This this launched a while ago. Didn't this launch like mid spring or something? Summer, not spring, summer. It like launched mid summer. So I've had this minimum three months. I think I've had this for five months now. 
So, and you don't need a lot. Like you don't need to lather a huge amount on. And it literally, I put a lot on because I use it a lot, but it, I still have so much left out of it. And this is my first one that I've opened. I haven't opened a new one yet. I bought, I already got like my other refills and I haven't even finished the first refill yet. So it's really good though. I really like it personally for me. I have very dry skin. I have very acne prone skin. Um, and I have, uh, well, dry, flaky, and then very acne prone skin and very sensitive skin. So if you have like similar skin to me, you would probably really, really like it. That's just my skin type. And that was, that's what works for me. So, um, has anybody, I'm curious, has anybody on here tried any of the glow complexion lines? Oh, Glam said she did. Karen said, I, Karen said, I'm going to be 45 and the glow complexion is great. Okay, cool. So you tried it. Has anybody else tried it? I actually got notified on Facebook. Oh, that's crazy. Facebook never notifies anybody. Okay, so bronzer in medium. Medium bronzer. You haven't tried it yet, Karen. Oh my goodness, you need to try it. Yes, I have it and I love it. Oh, okay, good deal. Yeah. I mean, there's things, there's like things that I like and then there's things that I love, you know love the skincare the glow complexion line and i thought nothing would ever be able to top the old serum that we have but the new glow complexion is so nice it's very light it doesn't feel like you know how some skincare you put it on your face and it just feels greasy and heavy like it doesn't feel like that at all it feels so light and just it feels like you're you're hydrating your face but it's not like suffocating your face like your face can still breathe i guess that's the best way i can <laughs> describe it but it's so nice i don't know i literally had someone ask me the other day if i got botox she's like your face just looks so glowy and plump she's like did you get botox or fillers or anything recently and i was like no i have been eating more protein though so that definitely helps i've been eating um a lot more protein but the only other thing I've changed is like the glow complexion line and like taking my collagen and stuff regularly. And then the greens, I guess it's probably a little bit of everything. I use it in, and I'm 64 and I love it. Oh, thank you for your review. I'm 53 and I love the glow complexion. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad you guys tried it. I'm so glad you're using it and you're, you tried it. I feel like it's made a really big difference with my my makeup, like my face isn't like flaky anymore. My face used to always be really flaky and it was such a pain in the butt to deal with because when you put makeup on top of flaky skin, it looks really like cakey. So that was always a huge struggle for me. I always had to be exfoliating all the time and now I barely exfoliate. I still use the brightening and the anti-aging aging serum, the small purple bottles. Those ones are still really good though. And the anti-aging beauty oil is still like a fan favorite of a lot of people too. That's another really good anti-aging serum. Yeah. I still have, I still have my, my serum, the brightening serum, but I, I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I haven't used it in a long time. I haven't used it in a long time, it's, which that's crazy for me to say because that was like my holy grail. It was my holy grail. Um, okay, we're going to use, so we're doing a subtle look. I'm trying to think, I want to steal one of the colors out of these pocket palettes and use it as a blush color because I like the, the colors that come in these. Yeah, I'm taking my greens, my swamp greens right now. They're so good though, it tastes tropical. Tropical, I'm getting my minerals in for the day because I didn't really have I had some, I had apples this morning and I had walnuts. I'm going to take the pink color from the, the berry bouquet pocket palette. This pink I'm just obsessed with lately. Um, yeah, I didn't have any green. I had two cucumbers. That was about it though. So eating my greens and my drink as well. Did anyone ever tell you that you look like Margie, Mar, Mar, Mar Margie, Rob, Mar, Margaret Robbie, Margie Robbie, the Barbie actress? Oh yeah, 
People say I look like her and another actress. I can't think of the other one's name though at the top of my head. They look, say I look like her and then the other girl. I don't know that, I can't think of the, I, this is gonna bother me now that I can't think of the other girl. All right, golden luminizer. Golden, oh, don't drop that. Don't drop that. Probably just do a light touch up on the brows. My brows still look pretty good. They still look pretty fabulous. All right. Um, let's do... There it is, my brow pencil. Um, you love natural? You see it so much, really? Really? I can see that, how I look like her a little bit. She has, like, I think her eyes are a little bit bluer than mine, though. They're a little bit bluer. And I think she has bigger lips. A little bit bigger lips and a slightly different nose. But we look super similar. Um, Margot Robbie is also Harley Quinn. Okay, that's what her name was, Margot. Do you need to do a Barbie look one day? Oh, I've done so many Barbie looks. Lots of bougie glam looks and um, stuff like that. We're doing a neutral look though, because somebody requested that I do a neutral look today, which will work out perfect because my new palette is neutral colors. And the new eyeliner that I got is brown, so that's a neutral color. So it'll be more neutral to dye. Be kind of like a bronzy look. Bronzy look. Um, I think my makeup looks great over, over the night moisturizer. You think it looks really good? I put it on and it looks it looks fine to me. So maybe it's just everybody's skin's a little bit different, but I didn't put a lot on. I only put a little bit on. So maybe you only have to put like a tiny, tiny bit of on bit on, but it looks super hydrating. Like I really like it. I really like it. I'm ordering more today. I'm probably gonna order a ton of them because um, whenever it's like a birthday or something for like an aunt or my mom or grandma, I always give them skincare because they usually don't wear a lot of makeup, but skincare they love. They always love when I give them skincare. So whenever I find something that I really, really like, that's what I give them. My aunt, I just gave her this moisturizer that I really like, the the night, or it's not night moisturizer, it's just called Glow, Com Glow Complexion Moisturizer from my website down here. She loves it. She, um, I gave it to her for Christmas and then like a week later we celebrated uh, my sister's birthday and she's like, I just have to tell you, I love the moisturizer you gave me. I put it on at night and I love it. And I was like, oh, good deal, good deal. So. She really likes it, so that's that's a win-win. Um, where the heck did the the liquid liner go that we had two seconds ago? Did I accidentally throw it in here? I did. It's right here. Okay, we're gonna do our wing first. Twenty eighteen Hannah is very artistic. Oh, thank you. All right, this is the new. Well, it's not. It's kind of new. It's the prosperous liquid liner it's just like our other one but it's brown it's like a dark brown so we're gonna do a little wing with this little tip for you if you're doing liquid liner if you're doing a wing is i always rest my finger on my face like this and then you just do little strokes upward until you get a nice little line and then you can thicken it at the bottom but I always do little strokes. If you try to do one big stroke, it's much harder in my opinion. So I do little bit of strokes like that. And it just makes the wings go on so much easier. Um, 
Are they doing it with this stick foundation? I don't know. I haven't really heard anything about that, so I don't know what they're doing with that, if they're just changing the packaging, if they're getting rid of it. I am not sure. But... Stick used to be one of my favorites until we came out with the serum foundation. And then the serum foundation was my favorite until the BB cream came out. <laughs> and now I would say it's a tie between the BB cream and the serum foundation. It really just depends on the day. If I need more coverage, I go with serum. If I don't need a lot of coverage, I go with BB. So it's literally just dependent on that. But those are my two top favorites now. Serum and BB cream, and I like them both because they're very hydrating to the skin, which is good for fine lines and wrinkles. And if you get like uh, a lot of dry skin and patches and cakey makeup, our greens are almost gone. Monday Madness, Wacky Wednesdays. I forgot about Monday Madness. Wacky Wednesdays. Man, I spent so much time on those lives. Those were very long videos. Make it look so easy. I just can't do wings. I gave up. Yeah, they're, they're difficult. I don't really do wings that much anymore. Ooh, okay. Let's use our new palette. Yeah. So here's my new palette. I didn't name it. I don't know what to name it. Do we need to name it? Well, I, I name my palettes kind of because I have like my summer palette and stuff. I don't even know what this kind of looks like a fall palette to me. But we are going to start with, I don't know, do we do green today? Or green's kind of not green. Well, green's kind of neutral, but not really. I think we should stick with the neutral colors. So let's start with Jealous first. I think Jealous is the color that I already have. But we're going to pop this in the crease. I'm going to get my little mirror here. Um, how long do you work out every day? Typically over an hour. But you know there's breaks in between that. So it's not like you're working out for an hour straight. But I do like 10 minutes of cardio. And then the rest is all weight training. I've been doing wings forever. It takes a while. Yeah, wings just take practice. Just like just like eyelashes. Like when you're learning to put eyelashes on, they just take a lot of practice. But then once you get the hang of them, you're you're good, you know? Like riding a bike. It takes a little bit of practice. But then once you get it, you know how to do it and then you can't ever unlearn it. This color is pretty. This is a nice neutral color. My summer palette, my summer palette has all those coral colors in it. This one right here, I think this is it. Yes. Summer palette, we got green, but then we got these coral colors. We got yellow and then some neutrals in here and pinks. This is my summer palette. We have the colors understood, abounding, impish, Identified, Dauntless, Earthly, Zazzy, and Melodious. Those are all the colors in here. Some of the colors, I don't know. Some colors, we still have some colors we don't have anymore. So just keep that in mind. So this is beautiful. This, this is making my eyes pop a lot. This is the Jealous color out of this palette. I think we should add a little bit of that underneath the lower lash line. So we're gonna grab this brush. This is the, it, the name's not on here anymore, but I think this is called the liner slash shader brush, but it's got this little angled edge. And that's really nice for getting really close underneath your, your lower lash line. Earthly is my favorite out of all the brown shadows. Earthly is a really pretty neutral color and it's not like super dark. So it pretty much goes with anything and everything. Ooh, this is kind of like a more red version of Earthly because Earthly, Earthly is more of a taupey brown. This is like a reddish orange brown. I 
I really like, I think that's why it's making my blue eyes pop though, because it's kind of got the reddish orange tint to it. Very beautiful. All right, then we're gonna take the, ooh, what color do we use? Do we use this Covacious or the Visionary color? Swatch them, we'll see. They're so close. I think we're gonna use the more coppery colored one. I feel like the contrast will look good. Whoop! So we're gonna flip this liner shader brush around and use the other side, okay? And we're gonna use Visionary, which is the coppery yellow color in here. Gold, I don't even know what color this is. It's kind of like in between. This could be a summer palette too, because this is giving me like super tan at the beach vibes type makeup. This is like midsummer palette right now. This is when you're really nice and tan midsummer. That is really pretty. These two colors together are gorgeous. I did use the liquid liner today. I used the new brown color called Prosperous. All right, I'm only gonna use two colors in the palette. So those, these two colors I use, this one and this one. Jealous and Visionary are the two colors I just used. Oh, what should we do? Maybe I'll leave it today. I was like, should we do liner in the waterline? But I think we'll leave, we'll skip out on liner today because I really like how this looks already. So I think we'll touch up my wings a little bit and clean up the edge. Yeah, this is the new liner, the brown right here. It's like a dark brown. How cold is it there? It's, uh, I can't read that. I think it says five degrees. Gross. Grody. Okay, so now we're just going over this again so it's nice and dark. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. Okay, and then we're gonna clean up the edges. So I'm just gonna take my little splurge cream brush and we're just gonna clean up underneath the wings. Oh, the light shadow. Yeah, we gotta do the light color in the inner corner of the eye. Thank you for reminding me, I completely forgot. Do you hear my birds? They must see a scary bird outside. They must see something dangerous outside because they're squawking. They're squawk walking. Where is my kabuki brush? Here's kabuki brush. Thanks to you, I just ordered the magnetic lashes. Lovely and beauty. Can't wait to try them on. I wanted something subtle. Thanks again. Those are really pretty. Like I've been super addicted to the beauty style lately. Those are the brown ones. Those are the ones I was just wearing in the beginning of the video. So obsessed with those right now. And my sister Josie is obsessed with the lovely lashes right now. The lovely ones are like the exact same lash pattern as the beauty ones, but they're not as thick. So, but I've been like obsessed with these beauty ones. I've been wearing those every day. Every day. They're a really nice casual eyelash to wear if you're not, you don't really have a lot of makeup on. So I wear them to the gym and stuff. Or if I don't do my makeup, I wear them. But um, what are we doing now? We're doing something. Oh, we need to curl my lashes. I've been really liking this lash curler. This thing works so nifty. Just works so good. Um, oh, white liner. That's what we were doing. White liner. Oh, we were supposed to use, somebody wanted me to use the cool tone palette. I forgot. Remind me on mon Monday. Remind me on Friday to use the cool tone palette. I'm gonna use the white color out of here though. Cause this one looks a little bit, maybe lighter than the other one. That's a nice color. This is the palette we were supposed to use and I forgot. So, 
Friday it is. Got too excited with my new palette. The light shadow in the corner of your eyes. Okay, yeah, that's what we, that's what I forgot to do. Beautiful, very subtle, a little bit of white right there. Very nice. Um, our lash curler is ready to go. This thing just pops down and then you're not, it says not to do this with mascara on, but I still do it. But the reason why you don't want to do it is um, because your lashes could get stuck in here. But my, my mascara doesn't get sticky or anything, so it doesn't get stuck. Um, I did set my face with loose powder today because I put concealer on. Otherwise, I don't set my face. You could use like the setting spray though if you wanted. Could use the setting, the setting mist, I should say. The setting mist, golden. All right, I got it all dirty though. Um, okay, mascara. I already put this one on this morning. So for my second coat, I, I, I've only been doing one coat of this. Usually I do two, but at this in the mornings, I've only been doing one coat because my lashes are so long right now. I don't need two coats anymore. Uh, okay, I think we're using this again because I don't know where my other mascara is. We'll use these again. Um, the lash curler, if you want a link to it, just comment hashtag fancy. I don't know how much it is with my code. You'd have to look. But if you do hashtag fancy, it'll send you a link to the where the where it'll send you the link to the website that sells it. And then if you just type lash curler on their website, it'll pop up. And then um, you can enter my discount code and see what it comes to. Do you find that there's a lot of room to get your lashes in the curler? There's lots of room, yes. There's no there's no sides to it, so your eyelashes don't get cut off or pinched, which is really nice. Yeah, I haven't touched my regular lash curlers since I got this one. I told my sister she needs to get one. I'm like, your lashes will look so beautiful with the lash curler because it works so good. Um, do you ever wear little goddess lashes anymore? I haven't worn them for a while because I need a new pair. I have I have a pair, they're just like old and I tend to like to wear the ones that look a little bit nicer. They're just really old. Um, You gave me like I have one from Amazon, but it doesn't open enough. Yeah, you gotta get the one from Fancy. You don't even need magnetic lashes today. Love the natural lashes. They're so, my lashes are so long and it like, they look kind of clumpy right now because we I've had magnetic lashes on before, so that kind of clumps up the mascara because it's sandwiching your natural lashes. But like if you see on the days when I put this on my natural lashes, like fresh natural lashes without any mascara on, it's just like so my lashes look so good. If you watch the video, if you guys watch the video I just uploaded, my gym fit get ready video that I posted this morning. That's when I put it on fresh, like, eyelashes. Like, I curled without mascara on, and it looks so good. You can actually see how long my lashes have grown since using the Quadra mascara. This, oh my gosh. And then the lash curler, game changer. Hannah is addicted to lashes. I am very addicted to eyelashes. I love lashes. Lashes make such a huge difference to your makeup. They're just game changer. If, if there's one thing you want to do to level up your makeup, it's lashes. Lashes, like you could just throw, you could put no makeup on and put lashes on and you'll look 10 times better already. It's just how lashes work. All right, I'm doing more blush. From the pocket palette, that pink one that I really like. Mmm, this pink color is so pretty. So pretty. Use drugstore mascara, my eyes are burning. Do you still use the 40? Oh no, yeah, don't use drugstore. Um, I don't really use the the 4D anymore. I just, cause I have the Twisted mascara open right now and I have the Quadra. So what I do, cause I still like regular mascara, but I want my lashes to grow. Um, I put this one on first. So this is the growth 
mascara. I put this one on my natural lashes first, and then if you have regular mascara, put the regular mascara on after you put the first coat of this on, because I always do two coats of mascara. So you put this one on first, and then the other one, um, I have so many mascaras to use up, so I'm gonna do that for a while, but then I'll probably just use this, because this I want long lashes, so I'm gonna wear this. If I'm gonna wear mascara, I'm gonna wear one that grows my lashes. So I'm gonna be using this. Um, so yeah, even though I do wear false lashes, it's nice to have natural, long, um, healthy eyelashes. So those not only grow your lashes, but they help like the overall health of your eyelashes too. So I feel like my lashes have gotten a little bit thicker too. Maybelline makes my eyes all red and sore. Ooh, that's not good. Um, they are just chilling right now. I'm probably not going to go by them today, but if you follow me on Instagram, I post a lot more like videos of the birds. To be honest, use Dollar Tree mascara. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the only thing about like using cheap, like drugstore stuff like that is they usually have a lot of chemicals in them. So you have to be careful. They usually have not good ingredients and then their quality control is not as good because they're really cheap products you know so that's the only thing you have to be careful for but i get it sometimes you don't want to spend certain you don't want to spend money on certain things so i totally get that too um okay lips because we gotta wait for my mascara to dry which it's dry already but we're gonna do i like to do my lips before lashes we're gonna do brown since we're doing neutral Where's my mirror? <laughs> I'm so, now that I've been using this mirror, I'm so used to using it that I don't like to look far away anymore. I used to look far away all the time. But now that I have this mirror, I like this mirror better for application. Oh my gosh, y'all, it literally, that's crazy. Do you see that? Do you see on my finger? That's all the dry skin. It, it like moisturized my lips and now all the dry skin just like wiped right off. Oh, that's so cool. It's like I exfoliated, but I didn't even have to exfoliate. I just moisturized and all the dry skin just flaked right off, right after. Like, look at how good my lips look. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Obsessed. That worked so good. That literally worked so good. Okay. Um, ooh. Neutral lip color, usually I like to do well-to-do lipstick, but um, what was that color I used the other day? That is really pretty, the color in the pocket palette, but which one was it? It's not the red one. I think it was the one in the pink palette, wasn't it? The berry one? I really like this color. This gloss is really pretty. So I think I'm going to do that today, maybe. Well, let's see. This is well-to-do. Well-to-do is a little bit lighter quite a bit lighter. Oh, I actually think I like this color better. Oh, I don't know. Which one do you guys like better, the darker or the lighter? Oh, I'm debating right now. We gotta, I always highlight first though, so. Well, if I do gloss, I do. Dusty Rose from Matt, the pocket palette, the dark one. Okay. So if I use the that gloss, I usually do this ombre first. So we'll do this color. But last time I did this combo, it was so pretty. The brown, and then you do a little bit of ombre and do this on top. It just came out so pretty. See, look at how pretty that is. They need to make this into a regular gloss because I would totally buy it as a regular gloss. It's a mauve color, but it has very small gold flakes in it. So it kind of makes your lips look a little extra shiny, which is really pretty. I find it really pretty. 
Look at how pretty that lip is. All right. Um, I feel like I could use more bronzer too, actually. Bronzer and then eyelashes. Should we do a dramatic lash, a medium lash, or a natural lash? What do you guys think? I'm kind of leaning towards the hottie lashes and that's a medium eyelash. I just have to see if I can find them. But they're, they're a brown black lash mixture and I think that would look good because we're doing a lot of brown colors. And they're not like super dramatic because this look already looks really good. So we don't want to overdo it either. Um, medium, dramatic, hottie, medium, nothing. Well, I'll tell you this. I will not leave my house without eyelashes. I'm too addicted. If I know I can look better with eyelashes, I put lashes on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never do makeup without lashes. I just can't. I can't un, I can't un see myself with lashes now. They just look so much better. Better. Okay, let's see if I can even find hotties. I know I have a pair somewhere. I think they will look great. I just depends because I'm kind of reckless with my lashes and I don't store them very well. So when I throw them back in the box, I kind of sometimes they get really bent up. So like these, look at that. I probably ruined those lashes because I just threw them back in the case like that. If, versus if I actually like put them back in like this, then they stay nice. Ooh, are these them? Oh, this is the half lash version of them. Did I cut them in half? I might have cut them in half. That would be a bummer. Where else would I store lashes? Do you wear, what is the brand of lashes? Um, if you do hashtag lashes, it'll send you a link to the eyelashes. Are these them? Oh, I found them. They were in my top drawer. They were not in my lash drawer. They're in my top drawer. All right, these are the lashes. My sister has been really liking these too. I haven't worn these for a while because I've been obsessed with the beauty ones lately. But this is what they look like. Beauty. Whoop! I dropped it. All right. You probably can't tell, but they're brown and black lash hairs mixed together. So they're not as, they're not going to be as like black as a regular eyelash. And then they have little spaces in them. So they're not super thick. So it's like a medium lash that gives you a little bit of length, a little bit of thickness, but it's not going to be anything crazy. Josie, yeah, she's been wearing, she's been wearing the lovely lashes and these hottie ones, and she really likes them. Um, I told her for the longest time to try them because she was um, using, I think she was using the cutie lashes, and then she's like, what other ones should I get? She's like, I want some that are a little more natural, and I was like, ooh, you should get these. So then she tried them, and she really likes them. But yeah, you can kind of see now that I get this close, see how they're kind of brown. But I think these, I think these will be perfect for today. Boop. Boop. Got to do our boop noises so that they stick on better. 68 degrees. Oh my gosh. You have such nice weather. This outer part, when I'm trying to do this in the mirror, it's so hard for me to see what I'm doing. Like I cannot see what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of guessing where this goes. Usually if you get it close enough, it just clicks on. So, but it's definitely hard to see this far away. Love Josie's hair color. She's been thinking, I didn't even put that one on close enough. She's been thinking about doing something else with her hair. She doesn't know yet. I don't even know where that magnet went. Where'd it go? Lost 10 LBs. Still want to order gummies? That's amazing. Congratulations. 
It's friggin' epic. All right. My lashes are so curled that the, I might have curled them too much. That it's pushing up on the eyelash a little bit, but that's okay. 23, warmer than here. Oh, see, aren't these pretty? They're not like too dramatic. I feel like I need to move it over a little bit more though. Let's put the other one on first and then we'll see if I need to move it over. But to me, it looks like I need to move it over just the smidgens because it looks like it's kind of hanging down a little bit and you want it to be look lifted. So yeah, this is the hottie lash. Brown with black. A lip, lip liner and gloss. Um, the, the makeup, the lip liner is from my like to know it. So you'd have to comment hashtag LTK for a link for the lip liner, it's called Cork. And then the, gosh, I can't put these lashes on today to save my life. I gotta get close to my mirror. I'm trying to do this far away and it's not working. Ooh, see how pretty that is? Oh, so pretty. And then the gloss is the pocket palette called Berry Bisque. That is from my link down here that's pinned. When you cook, do you put chia seed in your food? It's very good for you. Uh, not very much, no. Cooking, I don't really cook chia seed. I usually just eat chia seed raw or, um, see that one looks so much better. See how this one looks kind of hanging down whereas this one looks like more lifted. So we gotta move this one over a little bit. But aren't these pretty? These lashes are so pretty and they're not like crazy dramatic or anything. This is the side length of them too. They're really nice and curled, but you can kind of see that they're a little bit lighter. Okay, let's slide these off and move this lash over a little bit. Getting your fancy brush set in the mail today. Ooh, that's exciting. There you go. All right. I'm moving this over a little bit. Grab that magnet upside down. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. This one I gotta get nice and close. And one more. Ta-da! Yeah, that looks better. See, I moved it over a little bit. And now it doesn't look like it's hanging down. You don't want, so when you wear lashes, it's very important that when you get them in the mail, you take them out. Sorry, my nose is ticklish. You take them out and you're gonna hold them up to your eye. So you're gonna start the lash, like the beginning of the eyelash is gonna start right where your um, pup iris is. What's, what's the blue part of your eye called? Isn't that called your iris? Whatever, you start right there. That's where the, you start the lash, okay? And then you work, you hold the lash back all the way to the end. So now if there's extra space hanging off the eyelash, like your natural lashes, like the false lash goes past your natural lashes, that means you need to trim these. If you don't trim these and you put them on and they're too big, they'll hang down and they'll look way too big on your eyes. They'll be very uncomfortable to wear and they just won't look good. So you always have to fit and trim your lashes, okay? You have to do that with any type of eyelash that you buy. If you don't do that, they're not gonna, you're not gonna like them and they're not gonna be comfortable to wear, so. Always trim them. That's how I trim them. That's how I, I align them to my eye. You never want to start lashes way down here in the inner corner of the eye because they're going to feel like they're going to feel like they're pinching you and there's going to feel like something's like tickling the inner part of your eye. So you never start them way down here either. So just keep that in mind as well. Uh, I see that a lot of people do that. They put their lashes way too close to the inner corner of the eye and you don't, your natural lashes don't go all the way down here. Your natural lashes start up here. So that's basically where you want to start the false lash and you want the false lash to end where your natural lashes end. So you just follow your natural lash pattern. But wow, this look is so pretty, such a neutral look, but it's beautiful. This makes me want to be somewhere warm. Bahama. I need to be in the Bahamas with this look. And the magnets have have 
I have man hands with man fingers, not a vibe. <laughs> Um, that's why I use a tweezers. So even if you have if you have bigger hands or if you have acrylics on like nails, use a tweezers. Do not try to do this with your fingers. It's so hard. Like it's even hard for me to do it with fingers. But I can do it with fingers, but it's hard. But it's nearly impossible to do it if I have nails on. So always use a little tweezers. And you can also use two tweezers if you want. You can use one to hold the lash there and you can use the other one to clip the little magnets in. But Use a tweezers for the little magnets because you're not going to be able to hold those with your normal fingers. Um, how do you trim them? I just use a little, you can use a little scissors or I find it easier to clip with a little nail clipper like this. So this is my designated, you can see there's a little lash clippings on there. This is my designated clippers for my eyelashes only. I don't use this on my nails because you don't want to be cutting your lashes with your nail, your toenail clippers, and then getting that bacteria in your eyelashes. That's gross. So this is a brand new, like separate toenail clipper that I bought just for eyelashes. So um, I find this works way easier than using a little scissors. So this is what I use to trim my lashes. A little life hack for you with the eyelashes. But if you want to check out the lashes, hashtag lash, Hashtag lash. They have beginner kits. So if you want to try lashes for the first time, I would get one of their. I just got my lip gloss on there. I would get one of their lash starter kits. And th that those lovely lashes, which are these are the dainty lashes, but the lovely lashes come in this kit as well. Do I have one that has stuff in it? Because all these, here we go. It'll come with liner, it'll come with your applicator, so the little tweezers that I was just talking about, and then it comes with all the little magnets and the lashes. So you can get this style in here, which is the cutie style. This would be the most dramatic style that comes in this kit. You can get dainty. Dainty would be the most natural style that comes in this kit. Or you can get lovely, which lovely is almost identical to these, but they have an outer accented wing. So they're kind of like these, but shorter and they're only black and they're not as thick as these. So lovely, dainty, or cutie that you can get in this and then it comes with everything that you need to apply them. So I highly recommend you get one of these starter kits before getting anything else or at least get this kit and you can still get other styles if you want but that way you have the eyeliner and stuff which the eyeliner is very beneficial if you're new to wearing lashes because the lashes can stick to the eyeliner and hold the lash there so you don't have to like hold both ends. Yep, trim the outer part of the eyelashes as well. So that's, you always want to cut off the outer part. Get the kit if you're a beginner. Yes, get the kit. But I mean, yeah, once you, it'll take like, have, have realistic expectations with eyelashes, you know? If you're not used to wearing eyelashes, if you've never used eyelashes before, don't expect to get them on in the first try. Like they are going to take practice. They are going to, you're going to have to figure out what works for you. You know, everybody puts their lashes on different. So like me, I like to start with one corner and put all the little magnets all the way across down the, the lash line. My sister, she likes to put the outer the outer magnets on first and then she just puts in the center ones. So everybody like finds a different way to put them on and you just have to figure out which way works best for you. So that's just the way I like to do it. That's just the way my sister likes to do it and it works both ways. So, um, the eyeliner, I did not use the magnetic liner today, no. This is just regular eyeliner for wings, but they do have a magnetic liner that you can use for those eyelashes, so yeah. Um, I have new beads on today. These just dropped last night. They are called Augit something. Uh, Dentric, Den, Dentrintic, oh my gosh. I can't talk, but here's what they look like. Augit, they are low stock. There's only a couple available, but it's this really creamy white stone and it's, they're so different. Like this one has like little green specks in it, which is really cool. Actually, I'm gonna flip it around so you can see it real quick up close, but this is a new one that just dropped yesterday, last night. How do I turn the flash on? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. There we go. All right, see that? Isn't this cool? This is up close and personal what this one looks like, but look at all the different colors in this one. 
got little speckles, little spots. This one's got a stripe in it. It's got, don't look at my ghetto nails. I have ghetto nails right now. This one has like little green, I don't know, green things in it. This one's like marbled. So it's like a really cool, creamy stone. And then I paired it with brown and gold. Uh, I got to look up what, this is that one, this is that brown stone that has a cross in it. Like almost every stone has, there it is, it's right there, see the cross? This stone um, tends to form, have formations of crosses in it, which is really cool. Um, what's it called, the brown one? And then I just have the 14K 10, 10 millimeter beads with it. I'm just gonna type brown in. The brown one is called, unless it's sold out already. I hope it's not sold out already. Uh, it might be sold out, I don't see it. Do, 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 do. It can't be sold out. There it is, it's called Chas Chasolite. The brown one's called Chasolite. But it always has, like, at least one of them always has a little cross formation in it. So there's the cross right there, which is really cool. But these are from Bombshell Beads. If you type hashtag beads, you can find these. There's so many colors to pick from. Like, you, there's yellow ones, red ones, really cool green colored ones. And these are all 100% real stone. So they're not plastic. Um, they're not fake. They're not a mix of stone and plastic. They're hundred percent real. So they'll never tarnish or do anything. These will last you a lifetime. So they're super fun. I have a huge collection of beads. I love them and they're very versatile. How do you get your hair so shiny? Um, hair mask. I use the hair mask from Lange. It's the violet toning mask, but the other one, if you don't have blonde hair, that you can get is the Baraggio hair mask. So if you do hashtag hair, it'll send you a link to the website where you can find that, but their hair masks are really good. So I really like um, using their hair, hair masks. The only thing I don't like about them is they have perfume in them, which you guys know I don't like putting perfume um, on your skin, but I mean, it's in your hair. It's not really, unless you're like really rubbing it into your scalp, you could just put it like down here or whatever. But I only leave it in for like two minutes and then I wash it out, so. But their hair masks are really good. I really like them. Um, the, the new primer is a illuminating primer, so it'll add a glow to your makeup, basically. It's kind of hydrating. It's kind of a more neutral. It doesn't say that it's like a matte. It's not a mattifying primer, but it's also not like super hydrating. It's just like an illuminating primer. Actually, I think it is hydrating. I'd have to look into it. But it's really pretty if you want more of a glow to your makeup. If your makeup, like your foundation, just seems kind of dull when you put it on, you can mix that in there and it'll make it look more glowy. So that's really nice. But yeah, hashtag lashes for lashes. Hashtag, what was the other hashtag? Beads for the beads. Earrings, these are from Lavish. Hashtag lavish for the little stud earrings. These are the Blossom Louis Vuitton upcycled earrings way cheaper than Louis Vuitton earrings like real ones and they're super cute and they're still authentic this is just like vintage style so these were probably buttons on a jacket or something but I love them I'm obsessed so these are from lavish hashtag lavish for these and then if you guys wanted to check out the greens the probiotic and the trim fit you can do hashtag why you Hashtag why you. And then um, if you wanted to check out the new hydrating mask or any of the makeup I just put on today, you can go to the link right here. Otherwise, all of the links that I just told you about are listed in the description above this video. So when you click off this video, you'll see all the, the links up there. So, but I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you Friday and we will use the new Cool Tone Palette Friday, which is this palette right here. We're gonna use this one Friday. So this one's got um, gray, silver, kind of a cream color, and then this berry color, berry purple. It's kind of like, a, I would say it's more purple. So we'll use this one Friday. Okay. Um, Josie does not do makeup tutorials, no. Um, 
Oh, and if you want an info on the lash curler or this mirror, you can type in hashtag fancy if I didn't say that already. Hashtag fancy for those. But I'll see you later. Bye.